Hey fellow web developers, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we've got some exciting to share with you all. As you know, we're always on the lookout for the latest and greatest softwares. Today we are here with a software that will boost your web development game. And guess what? We've stumbled upon absolute gem. It's called DevHunt. DevHunt is making quite a buzz in the web development community, and we couldn't resist exploring what makes it stand out. So we decided to take it for a spin and see what it's all about. Let's dive in and discover the power of DevHunt together. So guys, here is DevHunt. Let's take a quick look at their website. This is the front page of their website. And well, we have a fiber rating in AppSumo. We can start a free account here and we can watch the full video but we're not going to do that. We're going to uh, explore the application ourselves. We can start instantly, build without code, launch, grow and scale. All right. Now let's. So as you can see, there are lots of things here. Canvas view, real time collaborations, multi language support, built in SEO. And we can explore the power of a boundless uh, power of a boundless CMS. Personalized layout, unlimited CMS items and fields. So it, we can say that there are lots of things. Airtable, we have Strapi, we have HubSpot, we have Lottie animations, and as you can see, there are lots more. So important and show any data. Uh, import and show any data. Okay, get data from any REST API route. Uh, fetch post from Airtable, Firebase, WordPress, WordPress, Strapi, Greenhouse, and others. You, know, you can also use this data directly within the builder and connect it visually to your tags. But we are not done yet. So what is uh, what their users say? You can check out the user reviews from here, but uh, we have already checked a lot. So let's go ahead and check out the pricing of DivHunt. So here's the pricing. Uh, if you want the growth pack and you want to pay yearly, then it will cost $12 per month. And if we want to and if we want to pay monthly, then it will cost us $15 per month. So as you can see, we can start for free without even worrying about uh, paying them. So let's go ahead and click start for free. And uh, there is convenience that you can one click Google login to your account. So we can sign up with our Google account with just one click. Now let's check out the lifetime deal that is going for div hunt. Let's go activate lab sumo codes. All right, so we don't have any code now. Let's just go to their main website again. All right, let's just go to Div Hunt. So here it is, Div Hunt in AppSumo. It's going to cost us only $59. So comparing to $15, $15 per month, $59 for a lifetime is a good deal and it's a win-win situation. Now we're just going to have to check out how cool the application is or how bad the application is. So let's start exploring and before that we are going to see what uh, we are, what DivHunt is offering in $59. So lifetime access to DivHunt, all future growth plan updates. If plan name changes, deal will be mapped to the new plan name with all accompanying updates. Okay, you must redeem your codes within 60 days of purchase. Then we have unlimited free websites. All of these features are gonna be provided to us. Plus, we are gonna have 60 day money back guarantee. So within two months, if we don't feel like that the, uh, the, the application is helping us, then we can just return it and get our money back, which is really convenient. So here we have stackable codes. Uh, with, for single code, we are going to have 100 GB of bandwidth, 2000 CMS items, 2000 form submits per month, and 2 GB CDN storage. And this is the package which was going to cost us $15 per month. But we can get extended packages by stacking more codes. And here, two codes means two custom domains, 200 GB of bandwidth, 4000 CMS items, 4000 form submits per month, and 4 GB CDN storage. Same goes with the three, uh, three code stacking. We can connect up to three domains and we'll get 300 GB bandwidth, 6,000 CMS items, 6,000 form submits per month, 6 GB CD and storage. And we have four codes. Then we have five codes, all up to 10 codes. In 10 codes, we have all the feature above included 
we can connect up to 10 custom domains which is a lot 1000 gb of bandwidth which is basically one terabyte of bandwidth uh, 20,000 cms items 20,000 form submits per month and 20 gb cdn storage so here is uh stephen packy which is the co-founder and developer of divide one code which also explaining what the codes do and he's giving the example of the codes all right so we have nothing to do here let's get started with div hunt but before getting started we're gonna give a you know, we're gonna take a look at a quick overview of the application so here's our profile we can log out from here here's the balance i mean our balance we have projects page here we can uh, get new project and we have b and billing page here uh, organization settings so we're gonna select our organization the organization set uh, balance well we can't change the balance all right then we have our activity so we're going to check our entire activity from here statistics and actions so you know, there is not much uh, to look at in overview so we're going to jump right into projects and all right so uh, starting a new project we can start from scratch or we can start from one of their templates but there are not much templates here as you can see all right so starting new project as you can see we can start from scratch or we can just uh, start from one of their templates but uh, we can see that there are not much templates available here so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen we have only 13 templates and we have to choose between these 13 all right so what we have what are we going to choose let's go ahead and choose this one Chaco Haven yeah we're going to keep the default name Chaco Haven confirm so and I wonder where did the clone project go well here it is the clone project got here so guys here we have the free subscription activated but we can get the premium membership from DivHunt or AppSumo so let's uh, go to the admin panel so in the admin panel we have our website name website description nothing to enter here we can change our logo we can change our favicon change your cover all right then we have advanced settings where we can manage our site map uh, site map then we have robots uh, robot txt configure manually robot txt to tell search engine robots of what pages they can add mm, cannot crawl okay so we have nothing here we have the site settings custom codes head end head start body end body start then we have the forms we can manage forms from here we have languages manage languages we have fonts what fonts are available here then the marketplace templates all right let's go back to builder close it so here we have the entire design we can select element and change it to however that we can change it to however it's necessary for us now can we just go to the website all right, so here is the chocohavendivart.com. Now let's go back and open this in new tab. All right, so the entire website is here. Now we're going to zoom in a little. We can add more pages, guys. Well, wow. support. Let's see. What happens when we add more pages so this page is totally blank divhunt.art slash port all right so this page is totally blank here now we can build built in divhunt yeah where did it go all right we're gonna explore that later from scratch but it's gonna take a lot of time so we're gonna go and stick to this one and we're not going to close this one so we have Chaco Haven homepage yeah nothing to change here we have style sheet homepage and support so we are working with homepage all right now let's go ahead and change these informations with our information so Monday to Sunday 9 a.m. Monday to Sunday 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Well, we're gonna keep it Monday to Friday Test 
10 a.m. to 10 p.m. That sounds better. Then we're going to change our phone number. So phone number has been changed. Now we are going to give our email address. We'll have to zoom a little. Appenbox.com. So here it is. Now let's go ahead and refresh the page. All right, so the, the informations have been changed as you can see. Now we have, hmm, we don't have any pages uh, available in these sections. So well, it's a one page website. So when, when we're clicking on these, the, the page is just scrolling down. So in Choco Haven, we have a one page website. When we are clicking on these links, it's just scrolling down to our products. And as you can see, our products store visits us and follow us. We have four sections in one page. So now we are gonna have to change visit us and we're gonna have to insert our address and phone number and everything. So in the visit us section, we are gonna insert our phone number, our address, and we're gonna have to change these informations too. So let's go ahead and go to visit us section and change these informations. Now we have Monday to Friday, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Then we're going to change the phone number. We're going to change the email address. And here we have at Instagram, enjoy chocolate on socials. So there are lots of images guys we can change these images uh, according to our needs if necessary but uh, i don't have any chocolate images downloaded in my computer so we have labels for the images well the label is all same now that is something that we should change and we can't keep all the same labels for all images now here i have selected the image let's see how we can change the image double click setting yeah source so we are gonna have to click on the source and then upload choose from computer let's go to downloads and select an image that we have uploading started and here we go upload has been completed so we are going to use this image and you can see the image has been replaced with the image that i have inserted and now, well, there is no saving option here. So we're just gonna refresh this page. And here we go, the image has been changed, although it's uh, really not relevant to the chocolate image. I mean, it's not relevant to the chocolate section, but still I'm just showing you guys how to change the images. So you can change your images or you can change these texts. Well, you don't have to actually double click to change. You can uh, go to the settings. You can select any column and go to settings and change it. So, well here I thought this was six images, but they're actually one images as you can see. This one image has been designed to act like six images. So here we have lots of other images, card images these are. We can also change these images if necessary. And then we have our location. Can we change our location? Well, that's a screenshot from Google Maps. So since we haven't changed the location, we are not going to change the Google map uh, location either. So guys, as you can see, we we are able to do a lot of things with this Div Hunt application. Uh, you can change your images, texts, and you can make an entirely new pages if necessary. As you can see, I've created a page already and I can manage this. I mean, this page has been started from scrap, so I'm not managing this page too much because it'll take a lot of time to understand uh, what to do with these pages. So I'm just showing you guys with a template. I mean, if you guys are a full-time web developer, then this web page designer will help you to do a lot of things just like WordPress does. So I think it's a very important tool for web developers and especially for those who are starting out because uh, WordPress is much harder than this. And if you're, you are starting out as a web developer, then this thing will be able to help you do and make your website uh, much more easily. So in conclusion, DevHunt is a game changer for web developers and we highly recommend giving it a shot only for beginners. The ability to find, customize and integrate code snippets with is is a huge time saver and the supportive community is an added bonus so don't miss out on this fantastic opportunity 
And if you have already tried out Div Hunt, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting tech reviews and web development insights. Until next time, happy coding!